Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss adder and subtractor circuits using operational amplifier. At the end of this session, students will be able to analyze and implement adder circuit and subtractor circuits using operational amplifier. These are the contents of my today's presentation. The inverting, non-inverting and differential circuit configurations of operational amplifier can be used to implement basic mathematical operations such as adder circuit and subtractor circuit. For these circuits, input signals may be AC signal or a DC signals. Basically, operational amplifier is designed to perform mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and integration, etc. That's why for this amplifier, the name given as the operational amplifier. These adder and subtractor circuits are commonly used in analog computers and audio mixers. In audio mixer, a number of inputs are added to produce desired output signal. Now this figure shows the basic summing amplifier which can be used as an adder circuit. VA, VB and VC are three input voltages applied to inverting input. Operational amplifier is connected in inverting configuration. So all three input voltages may be AC or DC applied to inverting input of operational amplifier through input registers RA, RB and RC and RF is a feedback register connected between output of operational amplifier and inverting input and output voltage is taken across load register RL. To non-inverting input register ROM is connected, ROM stands for offset minimizing register. The value of this resistance is parallel equivalent resistance resistances of all resistors connected to other input that is inverting input. So offset minimizing register is, is used to minimize output offset voltage due to input bias current. Output of this circuit that is the idle circuit can be verified by getting an equation for output voltage. This circuit in figure 1 can work as an adder depending upon the relation between the feedback register RF and input register RA, RB and RC. The equation for output voltage VO indicates the operation of the circuit. Let us apply Kirchhoff's current law at node V2 that is at inverting input of operational amplifier which is virtually uh, grounded by the concept of uh, virtual ground. Voltage at uh, non-inverting input V1 is 0 volt. So voltage at inverting input V2 is also 0 volt. So using uh, Kirchhoff's current law at node V2, the total current IA, IB, IC are flowing towards node V2 is equal to the current flowing away from the node V2 IF that is current flowing through feedback register RF. So IA plus IB plus IC is equal to IF. As the input resistance of operational amplifier is ideally infinity and practically it is very high and open loop gain of operational amplifier A are very large, ideally infinity. So the input bias current IB equal to 0. That is current bias current flowing through inverting input and non-inverting input of operational amplifier is approximately 0. So as uh, non-inverting input is connected to ground and uh, its voltage is 0 volt, so by the concept of virtual ground, the voltage at V2 also 0 volt. So V1 is equal to V2 is equal to 0, 0 volts. Therefore, let us express the three currents in terms of voltage and resistance. So for current I we can write VA upon RA plus for IB we can write VB upon RB plus for current IC we can write VC upon RC is equal to minus into bracket VO upon RF that is voltage at V2 in the sense voltage at inverting input is 0 volt. So that's why the 
current flowing in the feedback circuit is minus V O upon R F. So, output voltage V O is equal to we can simplify minus R F upon R A into V A plus R F upon R B into V B and plus R F upon R C into V C. So, the gain offered by the summing amplifier that is idle circuit to every input V A, V B and V C is the ratio of feedback register to input register. If in this uh, circuit all registers R A, R B and R C and R F are of same value, selected same value, then gain of this circuit is equal to 1. So, output voltage that is gain of the circuit R F upon R that is R F is equal to R that is gain is equal to 1. So, output voltage is minus V A plus V B plus V C. So, this equation indicates that the output voltage is negative sum of all the input voltages. Hence, the circuit operates as a adder circuit. Now, let us go for alpha as a subtractor. So, this figure shows the basic uh, differential amplifier using operational amplifier. It can be used as a subtractor. This circuit has two inputs, uh, uh, both input voltages are positive V A and V B. These input voltages may be AC voltage or DC voltage applied to voltage V A is applied to inverting input through register R, input register R and voltage V B is applied to non inverting input through register R. The operational amplifier is biased with dual DC power supply plus V C C and minus V W. And the voltage divider is used at the non inverting input using same value of same value registers and output is taken across load register. So, the uh, Register R, same value of register is connected between inverting input and output terminal of operational amplifier. A basic differential amplifier uh, can be used as a subtractor as shown in this uh, figure 2. Selecting all external registers of uh, same value so that gain of amplifier becomes 1. The function of this circuit can be verified by output voltage equation. Uh, the circuit has two inputs uh, voltage V A and voltage V B. Therefore, let us use superposition theorem in which we consider only one input voltage at one time, other input voltage uh, can be assumed 0. So, when the second input voltage voltage V B is equal to 0 volt, then circuit becomes an inverting amplifier. So, output voltage of uh, differential amplifier at acting as a subtractor due to uh, V A only is designated as V O A is equal to minus R upon R into V A that is gain times the input voltage. Now, let us uh, when uh, V A is kept 0 volt uh, then circuit becomes as a non inverting uh, amplifier with the voltage divider at the non inverting input and feedback circuit is connected around inverting input. Therefore, uh, voltage at non inverting input is V 1 that is equal to using voltage divider rule R upon uh, 2 R into uh, applied external input voltage that is V B. So, output voltage due to only input voltage V B is uh, V O B is equal to the gain times the input voltage. Since uh, the amplifier is working as a non inverting amplifier, so gain of this non inverting amplifier is 1 plus R f upon R 1. Now, here in this case both R f and R 1 are R only. So, 1 plus R upon R into bracket voltage at non inverting input that is V uh, 1 R 2 upon 2 R into V B. So, thus equation 1 and equation 2. From equation 1 and equation 2, the net output voltage is V O equal to V O A plus V O B. So, output voltage is equal to minus R upon R into V A plus 1 plus R upon R into bracket 
R upon 2R into VV. So final output voltage is equal to minus R upon R into bracket PA minus VV. So the gain of this uh, amplifier becomes a 1 as it is 1. So output voltage is equal to VV minus VA. So output voltage of a differential amplifier is a subtraction of the voltage applied at non-inverting input minus voltage applied at inverting input. Thus, the circuits work as a subtractor circuit. Thus, the operational amplifier functions as a subtractor. Student can pause video here and think over this question and write the answer. State a maximum possible output voltage of adder circuit and subtractor circuit. As op is biased using dual DC power supply plus VCC and minus, VCC, minus VWE, so output voltage varies in between plus VCC and minus VWE. So positively the output voltage varies from 0 to plus VCC and negatively it varies from 0 to minus VWE. So for op 7.1, the range of variation of output voltage is from 0 to plus 15 volt uh, in positive direction. In negative direction, if output is negative, the output is in the range 0 to minus 15 volt. So we can apply, we can use uh, a dual supply of plus minus 5 to plus minus 15 uh, for plus VCC and minus VWE. These are the reference. Thank you.